Welcome to Between Two Pastries, a not-so-typical nutrition podcast. Nicole and Annie are licensed and registered dietitians. Join them as they discuss hot nutrition topics, challenge popular beliefs, and have a blast doing it. Here are your hosts, Nicole and Annie. Welcome to Between Two Pastries. This is Nicole. Hey, everyone. It's Annie. Today, we're going to talk about caffeine. I think that this is like America's favorite drug. <laughs> I think a lot of people call it a food, Nicole. Yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of people like consider it a, a way of life, a part of life. Oh, boy. Um, and I don't think, unfortunately, people listening to this aren't going to be like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to listen and stop having caffeine. Oh, now. totally agree. They're going to be like, nope, sorry. Caffeine is what I need. No matter what you say about it, people are either full blown caffeine drinkers or eaters or whatever, mm-hmm. or they're, they, yeah. they hate it. Right. They don't, right. They don't want it. Well, so, so two, so two no things. Idea. So, um, Annie and I, uh, Annie and I did a whole incredibly informative presentation, um, that we're going to, um, include the link to, if you care to purchase, um, around the caffeine, around every single thing that, um, you know, the science behind it, how it affects the different hormones in your body, how it affects, um, recovery, all of the things, right? So we talk about all of that type of stuff in this pod though, we don't want to go there as much when we're talking about caffeine, as much as sometimes how it's being used in the sense of it's another way in which we're disconnected from our body and neglecting what our body is actually asking for. Does that make sense? So for, yeah, I mean, yeah, you've got people who understand that my one cup of coffee is going to improve my performance and enhance recovery and keep me alert. And I have that one cup and it's, you know, six ounces and, and I'm good, right? Like you've got a segment of people that understand that, but then you also have majority of people, majority, 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 and, and majority truly you all probably fall into this this pool of people that believe they cannot exist in the day without caffeine Mm -hmm. that it is literally something that if they don't consume their day will not be as good as it could be Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that it 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 matters so much to them and when something becomes that Uh, important to you something's wrong right like something is when you can't live without it in the form of a drug (laughs) right because it's a it's a it's a stimulant it's it's not a necessity to our human nature at all you know we have that ability itself to wake us up and to bring us down to sleep or to rest when it's time to do that you know and, and um it's really cortisol. There's also some other hormones that are involved with that too. It's a little bit of an intricate system, but we have a natural kind of inborn system already designed for that. You know, we don't, we don't require something external to keep this in. The thing that we have to remember is that in a lot of people have tendencies of living their lives in this fashion of, we are not robots. We are not machines. We are not things that, again, that need controlling. <laughs> but we, but Nicole, that if, so I can, much. if I can be a normal human being without caffeine and do X, Y, and Z, but with caffeine, I could do X, Y, and Z times 10. Mm. So then I'm better. Yeah. I'm, and then, well, if I have more, then I'll even be better. And eventually Mm -hmm. the the goal is to be best, which this concept of perfectionism is the other underlying issue, right? It's, that's a really good point. Mm -hmm. Because, and no one ever can achieve perfection, period. That is not an achievable thing. doesn't even exist. Ever. Yeah. When your expectations are perfection, Mm -hmm. you will constantly be um, disappointed, period. Always. Yeah, completely. that's part of the issue too, though, is you've got, well, oh, well, you say that there's these positive effects of caffeine. So I use caffeine. So if I use more, therefore it's better. Well, let's think about heroin. If heroin gives me this type of effect, if I do more, then it'll be better. Right. 
no, you'll die. Correct. So it's the same, like, again, but because this, because caffeine is a, you know, you know, it's a substance and it's a stimulant, but if it's, it's something that won't kill me, therefore I can go out of control with it. Mm -hmm. If that's the line of thinking you're having, please understand that like, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. They're like, you are totally disconnected Mm -hmm. and that's not okay. Your perception of caffeine is totally Mm -hmm. inaccurate. Right, right. You know, this whole idea too of I can't keep up with my life without it, right? Right. Again, it's another thing of, well, wait a minute. (laughs) You know, again, there's a disconnect of not necessarily our abilities, right? Our abilities to like manage, you know, and the volume that we have to manage sometimes, but it's still like, the inability or the, the, the not having the desire to allow for breaks, to slow down, to recharge, to get enough sleep, to, right. to just rejuvenate the body on a real, you know, organic level. Do you know what I mean? Again, why do we have to be to that point? Like, shouldn't we be sleeping and like, why is self-care so far off our radar. Oh yeah. That we need a vacation or we need a, you know, that people feel like they need cleanses and all of these things know, to like get their bodies you. back. And it's like, how about you just, I get, you know, not me personally, but I'm, you know, I'm a person and I'm going to tell myself I'm getting eight hours of sleep. Right. People cannot come into my life during those eight hours period. Yeah. Right. Right. And setting those boundaries and making, there's lots of arguments people can make right now to, to counter that. And I get it, but it's either important to you or it isn't. Mm-hmm. Well, and I agree. And I, I think that, that what we're forgetting is our humanness. So, Correct. you know, as our society and, and, and culture and world is getting more digitized, you know, um, mm-hmm. and yep. again, we keep getting faster and faster and faster. Our human nervous systems are not equipped to mm-hmm. handle it. It's actually, right. there. it's not equipped to handle everything that, that comes at us in a day, including all of the, the digital stimulation. No. And so it's like, a, unless we start learning how to work, you know, with that, with a human body, you know, people are going to continue, you know, crashing, not doing well, not sleeping well, you know, all yeah, of those right. things on, on top then, of it. And then blaming sugar. And well, sure. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Blaming sugar. I mean, I because mean, I you name I, it, I, they'll blame. I it. want to bring that up because, you know, caffeine has very similar uh, side effects to sugar, right? Like yeah. it can cause blood sugars to, to move up or down. It can Being cause weird that, hungerfulness. Yes. yes, absolutely. It can cause moody, you know, hundred changes to our mood, right? Because it requires, it requires specific nutrients to even break down. Correct. It takes Correct. away from so, you. It doesn't give to you. Yeah. Right. Right. So it does all of these things. And yet, well, I can't eat that cookie. Oh, right. You're right. You, you get that piece. Correct. Wait a second, but you'll have 40 ounces of caffeine. Yeah. In the form of whatever coffee energy drink whatever yes i have a cup of coffee it's generally decaf but sometimes i have regular coffee time and again and there's that's fine but like it's this excessiveness that it's the mentality behind it that we're trying to get at it's not about drinking caffeine or no it's about this is my way of surviving throughout the day right we surviving my life right Correct. right caffeine keeps me afloat But the thing is, is that, you know, caffeine also has the ability to, you know, numb again, it numbs your own natural signals from your body. So it numbs those hunger levels or it can exacerbate them. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it, it, it really will mess with your own sleep cycles in general on lots of levels. Mm -hmm. Um, this whole idea of, I can't have a good workout without it too, is, is another example of Mm -hmm. not honoring your body's 
limits. And I don't mean limits like as far as you can't achieve something, but maybe limits for that moment. Like either if you keep going, you know, eventually your body is going to injure itself because you've been ignoring the fact that you've been over, you've been overdoing it. You've been pushing it. Two stories, Nicole. One, I did a presentation, like an informal presentation at a high school, and we got on the subject of caffeine. And one of the girls was like, so I get a really, um, my heart really races in the morning. Is it because of the three, what's the new, oh my gosh, (laughs) it's the new like caffeine soda drink or whatever. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Is there a new but it's zero thing? calories, zero uh. sugar, right? So it's something bubbly. I'm like, you d- you probably don't want to do that. Can you not do three? Like, how about one? How about none? You don't need... And we t- we had the same conversation that we're having in this <sighs> podcast. No, I'm not going to give that up. I really like them. Oh, okay. Well, never mind your heart. That's fine. Right. Um, well, that's, that's just fine. it. Your, or even your like- heart is literally talking <sighs> to you. Gosh. Right. Hysterical. Okay, so I've I I picked up a, a, a existing on pause client again um, who uh, is having a, a you know change of life. So I'm reading up on I'm getting my pregnancy baby nutrition all like revved up again, right? Like I'm educating myself again because it's not a world I generally work in. You you know you read you know you're supposed to limit caffeine, no alcohol, you know, no nitrates, blah blah blah, right? I find it really fascinating that when a female becomes pregnant, they will adhere to oh right all of that. Right. Like as if it is the Bible doctrine. Correct. Like this is what I do to keep that baby safe or yep. whatever, make sure everything's fine. And yet prior to that, correct. And after that, Yes. The thousand milligrams of caffeine will continue. Absolutely. I don't understand that. How come? And it's, I see it with eating disorders all the time. Oh yeah. Well, I'm pregnant. So now I can eat. Mm-hmm. Wait a second. Mm-hmm. I thought you feared weight gain. Right. I thought, so you, it's because truly you hate yourself that much. Correct. If, if people can't understand that the cycles of perfection rules, um, insecurity, self-hate all come down to some underlying issue related to themselves or trauma mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. It, that blows, it blows my mind that they can't grab onto that. Yeah. Because it's very, very evident when these other things happen in life that Agreed. they have to make these changes. Right. And right. so we see it with caffeine hundred percent. I know you see it, I see it, but it's really fascinating how someone can listen to professionals, feel their heart race, see changes, all of the things. Yep. When they've attempted to, you know, eliminate caffeine, they get a headache. These are all signs that like your body is saying, no, not good. Not good. Don't, Don't like it. Yeah. And, and why is that not enough? I don't know why. And and it's like, why do people not trust their bodies because of their external beliefs really that that come from other people, right? Come from media, come from Mm -hmm. all of these other areas that, that are afraid of the same things. Right. Like it's just, (sighs) Nicole, I have another story for you. This one's maybe the funniest of them all. Um, so I had a, a patient I saw the, uh, probably, I think it was about last month or so, a few weeks ago, teenager. So, you know, we had a conversation about, you know, there were lots of things we had to talk about. So talking about water and, you know, caffeine consumption. Well, she's not going to cut her caffeine consumption or timing of caffeine uh, because it's all at night because caffeine helps her fall asleep. Oh, no, 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 no. I just, and it was at the point where I, the whole conversation was not at all what the physician wanted. It's not what I wanted. It's not what therapists wanted. So I just said, okay, okay, we're, we're good. We're done here. You just drink some more water then. Like you believe what you're going to believe because there's no, there's no convincing you that that statement alone is like the literally, literally the most inaccurate Gosh. thing I've probably ever heard. 
I know. So the, the only thing I can fathom, and this is also in our presentation, is there's a particular hormone that will actually get overproduced um, because mm -hmm. of, of the stimulation that will start to induce sleep. So that's the only thing that I can think of. And um, that, yeah, because you've had so much. Correct. It's yeah. almost like a reverse side effect. That's right. That's right. However, yeah. Yeah. can we just accept that that's not a good thing, sister. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really bad. I mean, that isn't actually good, but, uh, so, so let's say people are hearing us and they're, mm -hmm. they're feeling embarrassed that they drink all the caffeine they do. And they don't feel embarrassed, better. everybody. It's okay. No. How do people grab a hold of their day? How do people function without caffeine? What makes people feel alert without caffeine or, with a, a normal amount of, you know, like a well, cup I or think, two of coffee. I, I think that that's, and that again, you know, um, not to bring up a presentation, but we talk about all this stuff, like, you know, what are the levels that actually, you know, can serve us without taking away from us. And it's, it's making that sensitivity as, as low as possible, you know, being very, very mm -hmm. sensitive, meaning, so you actually get a benefit of it, but the, the more that, that you take it in, the more your body adapts to it. Um, it's another form yeah. of metabolic adaptation, yeah. which will be another, yeah. topic we're going to, we want to do anyway on it's know. about weaning <laughs> off of and getting to a level where you're more sensitive. It's also, um, you know, maybe choosing some different forms of it to, um, on well, honoring yeah. when you're tired and honoring you're tired when you're freaking tired PM, it's yes. okay to sit and just breathe well, for a little bit and that was kind of another thing too I had a client who's just like oh man I'm tired at this time I need caffeine and I'm thinking to myself no you don't because no the body's natural rhythms are mm -hmm. eight hours after you rise in the morning you start yep. to feel that um, you start to come down a little bit right right, right. It's because our work schedule is not normal to no, our body. It's over demanding on our, on our brains Correct. in general yeah. and our nervous system. I wish people would understand that. No, they don't because we, we have been bred in a society to, to make money and do work, right? Not honor your body because right. that's not as much money creation right. or right. work completed. But, but the thing is, is that that fatigue could be handled so much more easily or efficiently if if sleep cycles were on point and right. if they allowed people allowed themselves to literally sit and do some breath work for like two minutes even, and that would even provide some rejuvenation. I mean, there's, there's lots of documentation around that. Like our, our bodies are incredible. Oh, yeah. They're resilient and they need nurturing period. Right. Right. And, and that's right. the whole thing too. I mean, even when I'm working with Anybody that I'm working with, I don't care if I'm working with an eating disorder, if I'm working with someone who just is coming in because they, they want to work on some things, whatever it might be for them. It's still treating yourself like you would treat your newborn baby, right? You're not yep. going to ignore yeah. it and be like, oh yeah, I know you're feeling that way, but I could care less. I'm going to go, you know, go away for three hours and leave you stranded here. Right. And ignore right. that you need food or ignore that you need a nap or ignore that you need to be held or ignore that you have these right. base levels that are just irritating to me, but people <laughs> find their, their humanness irritating. Which tells me, or, and maybe it tells you too, that maybe there's a little bit more going on. Yeah. Because if you're that irritable definitely. about things, right perhaps you're a little overstressed, a little yeah. overtired, a little yeah. overworked. Yeah. And you need to take a few deep breaths. <laughs> Something's not right. Right. You know what I mean? There, yeah, should be, I do. there shouldn't be that level, but in the climate we're in, I think that people are just overall irritated yeah. with everything. Well, whether people want it or not, it is the climate we're living in. And yeah, I think yeah. that unless right. you're aware of, Hey, this isn't feeling right to me. Can I find a solution? you know, right. then you get right. a bit wrapped up into what is, you know what I mean? Right. It, yeah. Right. And then people right. just don't, don't, again, that's another place where they may feel disempowered. Like they don't really have a lot of power around that. So then we cycle back to the same pattern. And as it relates to caffeine, I'm going to have caffeine in the morning right. so I can wake up, I'm going to, or get through a run or get to work. And then I'm going to have more late in the day because 
my body is shutting down. And so I better have more. And caffeine stays in your system a long time. That's right. That's right. We talk about that. And that's what people don't realize is how much it compounds throughout the day. It's still in your system, though you don't feel it. And that's why right. people can't sleep too. But And this is in, and I know you feel this way too, the nutrition blood work stuff. Yeah. Where they do your blood and then they tell you what you should or shouldn't be eating. Um, so there's generally a little blurb in there on caffeine because from your blood work, they can tell how much caffeine you should eat per day or drink oh. per day. Oh gosh. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's... And how well you metabolize it and all this bullshit. Right. So a, that's awful. Don't believe it, but a lot of people do. And, and B you, you can't tell that stuff. Caffeine is, Again, it's a stimulant. It mm-hmm. can come in pill form. Mm-hmm. You know, like it's not something to play with. No. It's not something to run your day with. No. If you're that tired, make a shift to your to your day, to your priorities. Mm-hmm. I don't know. A lot of people think I'm stupid for saying that though, because it's well, I can't not work or I can't not well, make my no. kids well, and that's just avoidance of that's what they right. can do. It's like, yeah, but you can do a lot of things. We're just choosing right. not to because it requires time. You see what I'm saying? Right. It's still the inability or the lack of desire to actually help. Um, no, I, yeah, you're absolutely right. And I just wish people would understand, like, as is most supplement, uh, <laughs> supplements, stimulants, they can serve a purpose Mm -hmm. and in, you know, as it relates to caffeine, you can be more alert and all that's fine. But if you're consuming more than a cup or two of coffee, right. Something's going on. You know what I mean? Or you're, you've got this weird mentality and you say things like I can't live without it. Right. Something's wrong. Mm -hmm. And don't, don't tell yourself that you're being, Oh, I'm just being, you know, facetious. Right. No. Probably not. You're probably not. There's probably some form of a belief in there around that for sure. Right. For sure. And some fear around it. I've been doing this this way for so long. If I don't do it, I'm afraid I'm going to feel worse than I already feel now, you know? Right. So, yeah, I mean, but, but that definitely just needs you, you need some attention, you know, and some needs to be balanced out. So it it can be done. Yeah, for sure. I know. I mean, I, I used to use a lot of caffeine, you know Mm -hmm. what I mean? Those, you know, that's, very easy to to come off of that sure sure you know what I mean oh my gosh of course it's very possible it's just uncomfortable at first you know right not the physical part of it but more so just you know thinking like oh is what is my day gonna look like right 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 because it's an unknown right right Right. the readapting yeah for sure yeah creating a new path and that's okay yeah Well, if you want to know more information, more details um, around caffeine in general, check out our caffeine presentation. We'll include the link here in the podcast information and um, we'll have a deep discount on that one too, since we'll feature that one for the month. So um, check it out if you want to know. It's very informative. There's a lot of extra material that goes with it too. That might be, you know, you might find interesting, might come in handy Um, at any rate. Yeah. Oh boy. Thanks guys. Bye. Have questions you want to hear discussed on the show? Find us on Facebook or visit BetweenTwoPastries.com and drop us a line. Want to support the show? Find us on Patreon for exclusive content. If you love the show, find us on iTunes or your favorite podcast platform. Hit the subscribe button and leave us a review.